you know if you could hear it over the rattly hatch. You know, that thing's running. It's like retarded. Welcome back guys, Richard Abel French our season more. And you guessed it, it's a bitch to get to my tools because somebody crammed some 2x4s up this thing's ass. At least it made it home. But last time I remember how I was telling you guys it was running really really rough, etc. And I'm, I'm going to have this in the video uh, prior to this. So if you're following this, I guess you can call this car a build, it's kind of been a build. I've slowly been working on it. Yes, that's an aftermarket distributor in that box. <laughs> the things that piss you off. Anyway, it's got spark knock. It's literally out of time, is what that means. Now, all you ATI fans know what that means. All you Chevy distributor fans, that's what ATI is. For all you that don't know what that means. Anyway, that is a stupid ECU. That is the original one. I put it back in. This is the one out of my other Jeep that I had which supposedly ran perfect. I never got to hear it. I got it from a junkyard after a tree fell on it for 300 bucks. Anyway, it is made in France. Wee oui, wee, oui, Ricky Bobby. That's all I gotta say. Nothing against the French, but that's what I think of every time I see that word. <laughs> anyway, I've had to Ricky Bobby this thing a few times to get it to run, so. That being said, it wasn't the computer. It ran exactly the same. Okay, so if it's not the computer, what is it you're asking? <sighs> well, it's this. Almost 310,000 miles, that's what it is. It's an old ass Jeep. Okay, remove the radiator cap, and have a whole other Jeep under it. I don't have that option. Replace the power steering, done a few other things recently. And that's when the problem started to occur. I, I thought maybe I, am, I bumped something on the wires or something up here where I, you know. No. No, no, no. Problem actually has been going on since before the ICM that we changed, which stalled out the little green acres. That was it. I had to rip you Bobby it just to get there. Anyway, so I'm thinking, well, start so simple. So if it's not this, that obviously left me stranded, or the map sensor, or the frickin' idle air control, or the TPS, or any of the stupid vacuum lines that were broke that you can see I obviously did, did away with. I even blocked off the EGR, because it doesn't have a cat. So, but anyway, it ran fine, even with a blocked off EGR and no cat. The fuck is this? Since when have you seen oil residue come from inside the distributor? Inside the distributor. No. Maybe I Ricky Bobbied it too hard and I puked the guts out of the inside distributor shaft, but dude, it's completely oily around the frickin' pickup and all the electronics. Who else thinks this is the problem? Uh, I'm fucking almost 100% certain this is the fucking problem. So we're gonna change this, and then we're gonna get back to you at the end of this video with a startup. Stay tuned, guys. Well, distributor number two. Notice it's a little cleaner in here. Plan C is in the box. Yeah, I'm gonna put the HEI in it and probably just throw that thing in the garbage. 